The hardware allows us to take these visions, these ideas about these new products, and make it all real. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. In this episode, I'm ecstatic to bring to you my first impressions of actually using the Microsoft HoloLens. Actually, 3D map of the entire planet. Wow. While attending the San Diego Comic Con 2017, NASA actually had a booth set up with Microsoft HoloLenses for the public to try out. Using the actual footage that the lunar rover took on Mars, they mapped it out into the HoloLens. So when you were wearing the HoloLens, you could actually look around and see the entire terrain of Mars right in front of your face, and it would move with you as you looked around. This was me capturing some footage while I was waiting in line to try it out. The first thing I noticed when I put it on personally was this dot that moved around and followed my eyes everywhere I looked. Gaze input on the HoloLens indicates where a user's attention is focused. A cursor is used to indicate the gaze direction. As the user's head moves, the cursor follows their point of attention while remaining centered in their field of view. But enough background on this, how did I actually feel about the HoloLens when I put it on? Honestly? It didn't really wow me. It was really heavy and cumbersome and it only had a very narrow viewpoint and if you looked anywhere outside of that you'd see the real world. Now it wasn't terrible by any means, but it wasn't the gigantic leap in technology that I was expecting over the PSVR or the HTC Vive or even the Oculus Rift. It just seemed like one of those things, except instead of virtual reality, it was augmented reality and it would be in front of you. But having such a narrow viewpoint kind of ruined the experience. And clearly the HoloLens is still in the infancy as far as R&D goes, and there's a lot of work in the development still going on with it. So it's too early to say if it's going to be a success or not, but it does have a long way to go. And I guess the reason why I'm saying this is I want to temper people's expectations because there have been some videos floating around on YouTube that are saying that this is incredible. This is amazing. This is the future. This thing has blown me away. Again, not to knock it, I just want to give my honest feelings from trying it on the first time. It's heavy and awkward and I don't feel like wearing it for a prolonged period of time would feel right. The battery lasts about 3 hours, and right now a dev kit costs about $3,000, so it's a long way away from being complete, and there's a lot of potential to it, but right now, it's just not ready for the public. Anyways, what do you guys think about the HoloLens? Are you excited about it, and do you plan on getting it when it comes out, or are you going to wait a little bit for the second generation? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thank you so much for watching.